Hello everybody and welcome to Summer House. This is a game made by just one person. It's called Friedman. Uh, at the moment we've only got three maps to choose from, so we're going to choose this one in the mountains, which I'll explain the difference in a second. But this is a very simplistic builder. It is. There's no challenge to this, there's no kind of objectives or anything like that. It is a simple building game. Even the art style is simplistic. Personally, it's not necessarily the art style that is my favourite, but... I think it works for this style of game. So basically, the only thing to do is build. Now, you build in a sort of straight line. If we zoom out as much as we can here, we sort of build along this whole line here. So we can we can start this end, and then we can move ourselves along all the way down here. Uh, and, and you basically just build a town, but in a, a kind of like a high street, I suppose, um, and make any kind of design of things you want so if you want houses you can have houses if you want shops you can have shops if you want to mix between the two which is what we're going to do today you can have those as well there's three different maps there's this one in the mountains there's one i think it's like a beach city area and there's another one in the forest but they're not available just yet so we'll start off with um that's quite a nice brick let's go with that so we'll go with this now you can place these absolutely anywhere and they can merge into each other as well there's no kind of hit boxes or anything that says oh you can't put that here like normal uh, you can put this underground if you wish, any way you want, but we're just going to put it about there. We'll go along here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a row of shops and maybe a house or two along the way. Now, do we want upstairs as well or do we just want downstairs? Let's go upstairs as well. We'll give them all two stories. It does unfortunately take away that nice view, so we might leave maybe a little area where you could still walk down there we could pretend so we'll have another can we delete these trees no did have a play around with this before some things you can delete some things you can't you can delete all your own stuff but uh can't delete that part of the map so we'll start about there but it doesn't matter that the tree clips in because it just kind of takes it away a little bit uh carry on with the two-story Okay, now we can put a roof on. We have a selection of different roofs and chimneys as well. So I suppose it depends for us. Do we want apex? I don't think that looks... Mm, I'd like that if it was bigger, maybe. We could go with something like that. It just looks a little bit small for the size of roof, doesn't it? So maybe we'll just go with something like that. And we'll have a sort of flat roof that we can pretend there's some sort of access to via some stairs. And we'll do the same over here. Yeah, this is entirely what the game is, though. It is, it's designed just to be a simple chill out and build. Just have fun and build uh, with absolutely no objectives whatsoever. Let's have a... A couple of chimneys up here. So it looks like it gets cold with the mountains. And since they've got snow on them, so you're probably going to need fire on at some point of the year. Nice place to live, though, isn't it? Look at that. You've got mountains, you've got beach. Okay, now they've. Ah. They have not gone well, have they? Let's delete those. It's a shame that, um, I guess there I have to do. There is a little bit of like, you can't just put anywhere. It's on like a grid and it does snap. So although you are free to build anywhere, I could just do with that being like a, a bit freehand. So I could just, we'll have to do that. Don't know if that looks as good. To be honest with you. Probably got too many chimneys as well now. Let's have a, another go over here. They're probably more meant to be used with the... the other styles of roofs. Probably not meant to be used with this one. But something like that will do. I think there's some other things we can add up here as well let's add that as well put them in 
That'll break it up as a little bit, make it look like more of a rooftop. We can put some satellite dishes on as well, I think, somewhere. I think if you come in here, we can see everything we can put in. There's drain pipes and things like that as well. Uh, there we go, satellite dish. Let's put a couple of satellite dishes in. But as you can see, you, could, you get quite a realistic looking building just by having sort of clutter. It's a shame this isn't in some other builders. I really like the idea. All right, windows. We probably just want kind of... We can have regular looking windows. I like these with the balconies on, to be honest, but I don't know if they're going to fit in that well with the design. Let's do downstairs first. So we're going to give the first one here. So we're going to have to kind of imagine... Forget how many chimneys we've got, because I don't think we're going to have that many properties. Um, so he's got that there. Let's give him a window. What kind of window can we give him? That's not too bad. Let's give him that window there, so then we can draw a line. So maybe the next property starts about here somewhere. So we could do that. We'll have the same... Have the same thing again. Can we give them like a little mailbox? We can. There we go. So they've got a mailbox each. So then they would have an upstairs window, wouldn't they? So maybe the same sort of thing. Now we could have double windows, couldn't we? Or we could just have the one. It's a shame it's not slightly bigger. We'll just have the one. Maybe two is better, actually. Maybe two is better. Let's try, let's try the two. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, we've also got a new block there. So I think we've unlocked now um, that particular style. So you can have somebody hanging out of the window. If you place enough of something down, you get like little extras. But he can also do the same there. All right, so we'll have something like that. Now... On this corner, I think we'll have a shop. So I know we've got some sort of shop-looking stuff. So we'll have a window there. Like a little entrance thing there for it. We can put over the top some... Pretty sure I've seen some bunting or something in here that would look good. We can have a shop awning. keep the sun out the window so you can still see in um there we go that'll look good on there they could have an upstairs window as well couldn't they well, maybe maybe we could think they've got a flat upstairs because that would make sense because you've got the shop downstairs so maybe you've got flats above or apartments or something so if you've got an apartment above maybe they have a balcony so we can give them a balcony so we'll have that there and maybe if they can have a window next to it or something because that's like their apartment instead so we've got another thing here i think maybe to be honest with you maybe go for another shop let's have a look in here let's see what we've got uh quite like that let's go for that and then they can have a doorway for that there kind of door do they want for their shop they could have the same couldn't they but i quite like just that one to be honest just this that could be like the little um i don't know like little mini mart thing or something just to get your small groceries from put in a few trees because we can we could build up this way but just for the purposes of this video i'm just going to pop in some trees and have it something like that uh We'll leave, like I said, we'll leave this area here. Maybe we can just redecorate this in any sort of way. Seems to be a dog here, I think, on some steps. It's not really. We could have uh, some notice boards, couldn't we? Just in the, uh, the gap here. But yeah, this game is developed by just a single person. He has uh, put out some other games, apparently. But uh, this is his first solo effort. Let's give them some lights above their, their doorway, shall we? So they can see what they're doing. Add another one there as well. We need 
Where's the door gone here? Did I delete that? What happened to that? We'll put that in again. Yeah, so he's uh, developing this on his own. But uh, I, I'm quite liking the, the, the chill vibe to this. I'm quite enjoying the bin here. It, it actually feels like there's more stuff here, like clutter and things like that, that actually make the little town feel alive. Um, stuff that I wish was in other games. I mean, as even just putting a satellite dish, you can imagine that like in The Sims or something. I mean, I don't remember ever putting a satellite dish in and stuff like that. Just things that make the town and things feel more realistic, despite this being quite a simplistic game. Uh, we've got some aircon units. We could put a couple of aircon units up on the... I guess you'd have it on the ground floor, probably. So that you can imagine that the service repair guy can come along and repair them. So we'll just put a few of them in, like that. What else have we got? Got some signs. We'll put a stop sign there to stop people going beyond. I think we need to just decorate the next property now, don't we? Now, on this side, I might have a different thing. I won't have the guy standing outside. It's a shame that kind of... Is that on the floor? That looks like it's clipping into the ground, but I think it's the same. Yeah, it is the same. So we'll have another couple of houses here. And then a shop on the end. So we'll go for another sort of shop uh, door, if we can find one. And we could do like a gated thing through, couldn't we? But... Or something blocked off, like the uh, back access. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's like back access to get around to the, the back of these houses or something. So where they keep their bins and other stuff. So instead of shops, let's do that. Uh, let's give these guys some windows. Now, we could keep the similar type of design. As we've done around the other side. Because that's kind of what would happen anyway. Let's get rid of that one. Put it in there. I think that's the same then. Um, something here would be good, wouldn't it? So maybe again we could have an upstairs sort of flat up here. Similar to here. So we could maybe put in a little balcony thing. Just the same as we've done the other side. Just so we can imagine that maybe that's their access as well. So in here, you've got like the cellars and stuff for getting in here. Maybe it's like an old pub or something. But you've also got access to the upstairs flat there. So then I think we can just kind of decorate the buildings a little bit more. I'm not sure what that is. There's some washing being hung out here. I wonder if we can hang that off the balcony so there's people drying their washing in the breeze. Uh, we've given them all aircon units and stuff. Drain pipes. We might as well. So we could have that coming off. Looks good on some areas. but this one? A little straight one. Put that there. Unfortunately, you can't put in the whole pipe work, but it just adds to it, I find. Um, we've got some foliage and stuff. The only problem with this art style, it's, it's kind of difficult to see what certain things are. I think these are all post boxes, which would kind of utilize the orange ones. They can have one as well for the flat. But yeah, you can't really tell what everything is. Probably the only downfall of, of having this art style is, is it's very blocky. Um... not sure what this is supposed to say, but I wonder if we can just actually have that there for the shop. Oh, nice. We've even got a guy sat outside, look. So we've got like a little cafe now. I wonder if we could have one here as well then. What was the other thing we could have? Um, let's call this one... Whatever that says. 
There we are. There's a guy reading a book outside now. So it's again more lived in. Could still do with something here, couldn't we? Maybe a second flat then we could have here. Thanks for playing the demo. I hope you had a good time. There will be lots more to explore in the main game. Please make sure you wishlist some house on Steam. I'm not quite finished yet, but thank you very much. I guess that's the dev saying, I think you're finished. And I think he might be right, to be honest with you, because I think we are finished. So uh, that is just a quick 15 minute chill out build. It's the kind of example of what you could do in the game and what will come eventually. I think it's just going to be one of those. Oh, I've got half an hour to kill. You know what? I just fancy having a, a nice chill build of something before I go out or something like that. And you can come and do that. So, uh, yeah, that is our build. So we've got a nice little town here. There's pe lots of people hanging around. We've got some shops. We've got notice boards. We've got the bins out to be collected. We've got some more housing over here. And you can walk through here. And I'm going to have a nice day walking along the beach, head towards the mountains. That's my little fantasy uh, area for today. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you for another video very soon.